Hello and welcome to another episode in this Western Roman Empire survival roleplay campaign. And as you can see, we've had a succession crisis. Our father, the Imperator Honorius II, actually died gout-ridden eventually after many, many years of service and many, many years of pain and suffering. He was, however, like his grandfather, well, his father and grandfather before him, a really good emperor and, and really managed to help save the Western Roman Empire. But now we are playing as his daughter, Imperatrix Paulina of the Western Roman Empire. Now, in fact, the succession was so, so quick that we are, we're in fact, at a, about to meet peers, as you know, what you can do is when you're a child, the activity that you do um, in Mediolanum. And we have actually only just as well come of age, so it has been really, really quick in terms of a lot has happened at once in the life of the young Imperatrix. For a long time she lived in the sides, in the, the background, but now suddenly she's been thrust into the limelight of the world. One of the most powerful, if not the most powerful woman in the world, certainly in the Christian world of Christendom now. We can have a look, I think, in terms of alliances, we need to really negotiate as much as we can and try and get a lot of our vassals on on hand. Why? Because there's going to be a bit of a struggle happening. I feel like we're going to have a lot of people. Yeah, faction, independence on liege. Oof. That's not looking good. Aurelianum Flavius Flander, Valentinois. Baquate, Torunum, all of these French, Germania Prima as well in Burgundy, looking to potentially unseat this new empress. Now let's get Duke Cuthbert of Flanders to be swayed, and we may need to get married actually. Let's press play. Task finished. Fantastic, marvelous news. They're going to pledge themselves to me. I think what we should do is wanted desires. Oh my goodness, no. We're not going to go Nestorianism. Are we going to become reclusive? I don't really want to do that. Let's instead, oh, it's a lot of stress. But let's instead, let's instead look at the activities. I think we should host a feast. 210. I'm already at a an activity which I will stay at. But once we've done that, we'll hold a feast in honor of us um, potentially. Well, ascending to the throne, hopefully getting the vassals on the side now. Yeah, we are lagging a little bit. Notable guests arrive. Yes, we're Jafar. I don't care. Flemish culture. There are the Flemish Gallo Romans. That is a. That's cursed, that is extremely cursed. But if we have a look at just the general situation, come on, how many we've got? Four West remaining, 50 days until it begins. Oh my goodness, that's too long. That's too long. That is two weeks in ultimatum. Yes, get in there. Get in there. Maybe with someone important left. Fantastic. That's what we love to see. We have a bit of stability. We are yes to get married, but I think we'll have our feast first and see if anyone catches our eyes. Now, in terms of uh, relationships, we have a friend, Lucius Theodosian. Could it... Mm, I'm thinking, would the role play be, do I potentially marry someone political or do I marry my best friend? We shall see. Now, everyone is here. There's a small lords and ladies are ushered into the room. I feel myself go giddier and giddier. I'm thrilled that Secundianus, the son and heir of my vassal Duke Magnus, and Rufinius, the son and heir of my marshal Viserius Rufinus, could both make it. Not to mention my vassal Count Galerius. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Oh, look at the little doll, the little hobby horse. Ah. Oh. Lovely, fantastic. Ah, oh, that is very cute, I will admit. But look at us, we need to just fully grown. What is this? My hostage, Eudoxius, is now a man looking forward to soon being sent home as is the custom. It's Uncle King Fabianus, and now you are a son, um, parents, yeah, I don't, of Hispania, potentially the heir to his that is Spania. Now, we'll let him go, but he may. Be nicer to us, fine. We'll let him go, we'll let him go. And what is this? My courtier to Ligotho is obviously hiding something. But she just agrees with me what it is. My courtier, I don't particularly, um, I don't really care, to be honest. Child is heritage. Okay, that could be nice to get a hook, actually. We are the Imperatrix now. We're going to need all of the strength we can get, even if it comes in the art of subterfuge and intrigue. Now, let it leave to the World Council. Our grandfather and father both did that, and that was fantastic now. I bought a small book with me, as I usually do. My friend Lucius finally. I'm just settling down to read a few pages. Is that the spiritual medicine? I recently read it. What's your opinion on the prose? I kind of want to... Uh... He's my friend. It's not going to... It's not the role play to be like, get out of here. And what is this? I'm heading for my chambers to enjoy some blessed sleep when I hear a faint rustle from the window. 
Domitana, I Petrus, a count inside my realm. Wow, by Satan, do you have no shame indeed? How dare they? How dare they? I want a good amount of gold, actually. How long is this event going to end? Here we go, the first rebellion, a peasant's rebellion. How dare they? Now, I can manage these words. War waits for no woman, and the blaring of war horns have reached me here in medieval islands. I'm in the midst of hosting a meet peers. The common leader, Numius, of peasant revolt has declared war against me now. Honestly, let's just keep that going, and whoa, we've already... <laughs> peasant uprising, we've already defeated it. Fantastic. Well, that went really well. What is this event thing that's happened? Here we go. My friend Lucius approaches me with a heap of fabric in his arms. He dumps it on the floor in front of me. I realize it's a heap of clothing for adults. Let's play house together. Oh, do I get a crush on Lucius Theodosian. He is my nephew. Okay, I think the role play here is as got to such a length that I potentially think that we could uh, until next time indeed potentially we could think about marrying him as we are now the Impotrix and we can do what we want now I can hold court let's hold court indeed let's hear the petitioners and let's see what they want and Count Martinus <sighs> sure we'll see and dies in the environment right my noble privileges the service who finish my vassal of Italia sub Babila, however you say, I strive forward, eager to hear my response. My age is galling for a great house like Tran need to have a threat of revocation hanging over us. Oh, such entitlements demand sacrifices in return, only if board is never altered. And honestly, if it gets them on side, I need them to be fantastic. A child of face with Agrippa Lantern's sad eyes. Acquaintance Flavius Valentinian, one of my senators, generally ushers her towards my throne. Imperatrix, he laments the girl's been at Fidelis court with no one to watch over her since the death of her dear papa. Um, I shall race her myself. Do I really want to do that? Um, I'll, t I'll take her on. I'll take her on. Fine, and my business here is done. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I think now... We've got enough money, we're not on an activity. Let's hold a feast. Let's invite the whole realm. This shall be to get everyone on side. We're going to hold a feast here. We're going to hold it in our capital, of course, Mediolanum. And that'll do. We want the other guests, honorary guests. You don't really like me, so let's get you as an honorary guest. Extended family. Let's do the extended family as well. Neighboring rulers. Sure. There's been a lot of people. Over 40 guests have been invited, some will choose to decline, and knights, sure. How many people altogether? Does it say anywhere? It doesn't really. 131 characters. Sounds good to me, sounds good to me. Can I do anything? Yeah, because I haven't got the DLC, these are the only one available to me. That's fine by me, but here we go. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully this will get everyone on side. And in the background of that, um, what I want to try and do... Is I want to I can ransom Duke. We're going to wait for that. Thank you very much. But titles been created. I want to try and get these two titles: the Kingdom of Australia, which we can actually do, and the Empire of Gaul. Why? It's because we will be the de jure holder of these, so that means we will be able to be basically get the opinion, um, get the opinion penalties down, and get the levies and Illyro man. Ooh, that's pretty cool. See if they're able to get any extended influence there. But anyway, I was going to try and get them so we don't get any penalties and we get the full amount of levies and taxes so that if one day we may be able to challenge everyone now. Come annex you yet? We still can't. We've still got a little while to go. It's been quite a hectic last how long. And my cousin is injured. That's a shame. That is a shame. Now scheme we discovered our haven't fiend. Now relationship. If we have a look here, we've got friends who's also my crush, Lucius Theodosian. I think him and me. We're going to do a match lineal and they will accept. Let's just do it. Let's just do it because that's the ballplay thing to do. Let's betray ourselves and hopefully this feast we can announce it and legitimize this marriage. Is that the end of the imperative? We can do what we want. But the Saxon Confederation, they are looking quite strong and they've got absolute bank as well and we'll leave that to the fate of the Senate and to the special soldiers, no special soldiers, but most of that is levies, admittedly. Fine, fine, but could I try? I mean, I have to activity off of vassalage. Yeah, you won't, you will not. And Dalmatia, 
Lots of fighting between the vassals. Hopefully that doesn't hold us down. Like, of course, my Numinius, my prisoner, my foe. Ah, I can't, I can't ransom him off anymore. That's a shame. That is a shame. But it is what it is. I've got low control in Cornwall, so let's maybe try and do something about that. Um, up here. And we'll probably get you on converting some of these territories. Because at the end of the day, we need to get them converted. That's why Cornwall needs to be... Because they're the wrong religion. How dare they? How dare they? But there we go. We've got Australia, which is... I thought it was over here. Yeah, it was. Under our control. Let's get Gallia as well. We're going to make it with Gaul, the Empire of Gaul. Now, the guests are gathered in the Great Hall Lords and ladies from the near and far reaches of the realm. I adjust my clothes. This is not my exactly idea of a perfect name, but I'll have to do. And I'm shy. Okay, this may not be too good. While well, a new attempt to code my favour not gone unnoticed. Oh, I don't particularly care, to be honest. Um, yeah, I'm shy. So the world players now. We don't want any friends like that. Thank you very much. Now, a large, cr large crash resounds through the great halls when the doors to the service quarters break. In a barely clothed tumble, my courtier Zinon and my acquaintance Malina spill out on the floor. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Tut, tut, tut. How dare they? Now, the great table seating the upper nobility. And the dice gave a loud crack, and a moment later it gave in under the weight of food and gilded decoration as my most distinguished guest and I had to be fitted in among the lower nobility. Ended up close to my acquaintance Pompeius. Count Eustinus took it poorly, however, and told everyone it was a grave injustice to be seated with the lords and ladies, barely better than commoners. Acting quite the opposite, Count Prudentius displayed grace and humility among his lessers. Pompeius and I ended up talking all evening in Greece. Should not be the last time we feasted and laughed in each other's company. Oh, he's my friend. I've got another friend now. Fantastic. Who, who, you're uh, some randomers. Okay, fine. Oh dear, what is happening now? I did everything I could. That Petronius and Baron Centarius, who's a Swabic, uh, could be as far from each other as possible. It was not enough, and now they've come to blows in the middle of my feast, and... Okay, this is diplomacy. Apparently that's a well thing to do, so we'll do that. We'll talk about this later indeed now. As my guests seem leave, they seem to depart in good spirits. I'm also relieved to see that Proconsul Portianus did not depart without saying farewell, my vassal. 17 years old. We'll both know we'll be seeing each other very soon. What a man. Okay. Bonded at feast. Fantastic. This is what it's all about. We are getting opinion with all of our vassals, and that's absolutely everything now. There we go. Guests throng to and fro, eating and chatting, while flickering torchlight plays off every wall, light bouncing like laughter around the hall. I'm happily settled in a corner seat, chatting with a few interesting people. It's good to get a chance to be social without being overwhelmed for once. It's nice to simply sit back and enjoy the little things in life. Oh, fantastic. Lose 100 stress. That is big. I think let's do that. The 100 stress. Oh, my goodness. That is huge. We needed that. We absolutely needed that. And that is huge. Now, the feast is starting to draw to a close. My visitors are surely expecting me to lavish little attention on Viserius Rufes, our esteemed guest of honor. Traditionally, a complimentary toast and deep drink of spiced wine does the trick. Then again, all he did was turn up. The feast was my idea. I paid for everything. No, we need him on side. He doesn't really like us too much. Now... Let's do a toast and get him on side. There we go. We are working our wily ways in it now. There we go. A few candles survive after last of the guests have left. I can hear Perisons letting out sighs of relief after the doors close. The food is still warm on the ceramic plates. Of course, the Romans say ceramic, of course. Soon word will reach every corner of the realm and every noble worth their salt will know that my magnificence is unparalleled. With all my guests leaving my castle and the entire contents of my fast pantry in their bellies, I'm proud to say that the feast was a success. Fantastic. There we go, the opinion penalty. I mean, opinion gain, the prestige gain, eager reveler. I'm not losing stress, whatever, but that's fine. There we go, that went really well. Really, really well. And I can change your contract. Why? Um, What do we want? Ugh, bureaucratic levy, let's get the high. I'm going to use a hook. Sure, whatever. Just because we need all the men we can. A fine print achievement, yes, we can. Scheme at court, let me stop the behind this. Okay, okay. We want 360 gold. Let's get a 500, get gold under our control. Sorry, that was my phone that just went off just then. Um, I'm going to leave it to the Willow Council indeed. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. How? Let's have a quick look around the map while we're just waiting for our coffers to fill up. Sax Confederation potentially would like to uh, get them vassalized. Let's gain all that money. Yes, love that, baby. Love that. But it's Pickland. They're worrying me a bit. Allied to Wales, of course, and to all of a lot of the nobles are in Britannia. Britannia is almost united. And it's almost united against a potential incursion of us. Now they've got a peasant rebellion. The Gales 
are quite strong. Mercy of the Jutes are looking pretty weak, actually. They haven't really kicked on ever since they got, ever since they had the succession and lost all of their special advent soldiers. They're kind of looking quite weak. Wales, though, has formed, and again, it's allied to everyone, allied to Gwyneth, allied to Pickland, allied to Kelion, and recently, um, Duke Stigand, yeah, recently beat the Mercians in war, so that's pretty big. In terms of Iberia, which is where I would like to expand, we've got a couple of boys over here. In terms of declaring war, we haven't really got many Cassus Bellies yet. Again, I could try and get them as a tributary. That could be how it, and I just annex them at a later date. That could be how we did. We have got enough gold to create Gaul now. Fantastic. And look at the, look at everything just shoot up. Now we go, we have the du jour liege of all of these people. We have formalized our rule over Gaul. Didn't his head change? Oh, baby, that isn't, we are now the premier power between the East and West. Betrothed can marry. And now here we go. My betrothed friend and crush, and I shall marry. Fantastic. Until death does part now. Yeah, leads to the World Council, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Too many held duchies. Of course, I'll collect. Who pays for their own wedding? That is a lot of gold. I don't really want to say no. But honestly, the prestige is nice, but the gold is even better, of course. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Now, what do we want to do with all of this gold? Do we create these titles? Honestly, I'm not too bothered. I think we invest it into our men at times. Let's get our cataphacts up to full size, baby. Yes, we had to, of course, get rid of a few men at arms purely because we didn't have the economy for it but when we were able to fix our economy now we're able to get it back up to scratch again now our first one what do we want let's pause let's maybe get a diplomat go down this tree get the force of vassalage castles belly and just get down flexible truces and a couple of these to really unlocks the bloody grand wedding Ooh, well i don't think i have the dlc so it doesn't do that for me a jewel conquest could be nice let's just go down here defense negotiations as well that's what we want potentially to try and get people vassalize us exactly what now you king of Moreta. however you say that um request tribute you will not do it uh fine um request claim i could just request claim but yeah of course the pope is not it doesn't really like me too much probably should work on swaying him actually but it is what it is we're looking pretty powerful at least for now my telekinesis kind of get you vassalized you actually don't mind me too much it might be worth trying to sway you now in a little bit of a better position oh we're invited to a hunt as well of course we will, we will do these needs that's fine by me we're going through oh, let's just get mercenaries just hire mercenary guys that'll do i think and that will do for me so i'm just trying to become a bit of a traveler i do like the traveling mechanics in this even though i haven't got the full dlc but maybe we'll do that eventually if it's ever on sale again we shall see, but um, a lowly delicacy. What is this? My pizza. Okay, this is so unhistorical now. Mm. The food was amazing. It's pizza, of course. It's amazing. Now, an avalanche. After a long and arduous journey among the snowy mountain peaks, I slowly warm myself next to the roaring fire in the local inn while Florian and Ier Lonimus tend to our cavern outside. Suddenly, there's a distant yet powerful, deep and reverberating thud. Avalanche, someone yells. Before anyone inside gets a chance to react, the sound gets louder and louder. Oh no. Oh no. Prowess challenge, or I'll stay inside for it's delayed by 30 day days, or. Oof. <sighs> Let's just delay. Let's not try and risk anything. I'm not the most martial of person, so I haven't really had a martial education, so I think that makes sense. So we'll be a little bit more cautious as well. Sense of role play there now. Anything here? Anything here? Type of creative? Yes, I know. And probably will get on to demand to doing these things. That's fine. Carthaginesis, you're allied to Africa. That's annoying. So I want to try and get you to be vassalized. That could be a bit of a uh, bit of an issue. Whoa! Why am I at war? Target of a oh, what? Defending Pannonia Prime. Okay, so now a war has just been declared against me, and there it is. We are again. We're just going to raise our men at arms. Actually, I'm sure that'll be enough. Um, let's raise them all. That should be more than enough to take down these pagans. Now, our commander. Who shall be our commander? Will be real play to have you, but you're probably 
in a hunt, so fine. We will attack them here. Trade to be known to all. Okay, it's game against my kinswoman. I don't know who that is. Fine. Should be. They've got quite a good counter, but alas, that that is not enough. We're going to defeat them on the field of battle, and there we go. Another migration. A great northern army, a great heathen army, has just been defeated by us. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And we lost 16 men. Oh, the, the cataphracts. The cataphracts. I already know they're just, they're just so good. And we managed to max them out finally. Let's get out of here. Oh, we're going against bison. Ooh, let's see how that goes. And the noise of the others have, have faded as my vassal Count Cornelius and I stalk up to the bison. We're also within striking distance when he whispers, We're finally alone. Let me about oh, my vassal. I, Fine, I suppose we have to give them the ear, I suppose, and good servants, fantastic. My marshal is crouching on the ground, humming cheerfully, picking delphiniums. He appears to have lost all interest in the hunt of Imperatrix, that's quite a... What a bounty of nature, get back on your horse. No, we want to... Let's get some learning life, I'm sure, whatever. And let's go, let's try and ambush the bison. I don't think it's going to go very well, but we'll see. We shall see. Ooh. And... Oh, it looks like we managed to do it. Fantastic. We didn't get, we didn't do it ourselves, but we should get a little bit of XP towards it. Dangerous beast slaying. Fantastic. Well, how much does that XP did that give us? That doesn't, I haven't got the hunter trait yet, so that's not going to uh, come up yet. Fine. Okay, sure. But maybe we'll have to return local hero. What is it? I would traverse down the slopes, trudging through the rocks. We encounter a modest wayward shrine, naively carved. It sports a cross at its head and below the weathered words. Here lies Saint Frontina of Alps Pennone, the blessed daughter of Saint Michel de Maurienne. Oh, oh, this seems a local spiritual figure has been patronized in these parts and one not sanctioned by the Chalcedonian clergy. Honestly, yeah, let's cast it down indeed now. On one foot after another, I slowly moved forward on a narrow mountain trust. And you hear a rumble and a quickly silent scream. Oh my goodness. Then a victor walking behind me. There's an equally befuddled, tired face of Claudia standing in front of freshly turned rocks. Victor, my cousin and core physician. Oh my goodness. That's not good. That is absolutely not good. <laughs> I need to get a new court physician. Let's go to my courtiers. Here we go. Sure, I'll get you. Seems a pretty learned man. That'll do. Lots of prisoners, actually. Oh, we may have to do something about that. But let's head back home. Back into the, the, the foothills of the Alps and into the, the plains here in Turin, Ashti, Pavia, and Mediodanum. And a jewel demanded, an imposing man, I'm Pompeius of Viege, a van noir, better done a woman in combat. Aye, have you, have you? Coward, I tell you. Let's go will show you how it's done indeed. And he wins the fight, that's what I like to see. And now I am back home, fantastic. Well, that was an interesting journey. Very interesting, and our hunting XP once again hasn't come up. I don't know, I just don't have the DLC. I just don't have the DLC, but it is what it is. Let's keep pressing on. Let's keep pressing on now. Come on, Africa. Come on. I just want to get you vassalized. That's all I want, man. I just want you vassalized. Why can't I annex you? Let's let the traitor be known to all so they won't get any opinion penalty. There we go. We're not doing too bad. Let's maybe invest a little bit more in our men at arms. Oh, baby. We're going to be absolutely go to see. We're getting such good, especially on our cataphracts. Plus 30. And plus 10. I don't think we have any capacity to build any more buildings, but what is this? And it becomes friends. No, let's not do that because we are shy indeed. Platinai or Comitantensis. Area to move it to Luxembourg. That's not good. And there's a feast in Taza. You know what? Sure. It's going to be quite a journey. We've got mercenary guards. And then we will probably... Oh, the Balearics. Let's maybe go to Palma as well and Algier on the way back. Oh, that's a fantastic idea. But let's also... You know what? Let's hire experience captains. Fantastic. And then on the way back, that's when we shall customize our route. Um, go to Algiers. And then we shall go to Palma. There we go. Anywhere else we should potentially go. Do I go to Avignon? Ooh. Oh, mm, I don't know. 
I don't know, I would, I think no, let's just do that for now. Let's just do that for now, that's fine, that is fine. Via Balearic C. Uh, no, that's not what I meant to click. Yeah, Mallorca, there we go. And let's join the feast now. It's, we'll get there in good time, hopefully, and I, I suppose we must. And we should be getting good travelling experience here. The Metal Man and Montefalo is a gift from God. Tranquility of this place suddenly and abruptly broken by the furious grunts and clattering of armour. Hark, get me out of this metal prison. My squire took offence my manner even so far as to call me heartless and has abandoned me. For price, not too bothered about it, but then I'm paranoid, so fine. Fine, I don't really agree with that roleplay, but fine. And let's just get down to the coast. Let's get down to Monaco. And fine, you can have that. We'll just spread. What is this Royal Court event here that I have got an artifact? What artifact? I'm not sure. Fine, whatever. Let's just get real. Large Olam and Theodosian. Yeah, I'm not doing another banner. Thank you very much. Uh, let me go back out there. And there we go. We're traveling across the Mediterranean Sea, the Balearic Sea now. Military office, yeah, whatever. Oh, look at this. Admit I don't have a DLC, so it will be maybe be worth getting it soon. But Hispania over here, we're going to visit them. I'm going to see, potentially, if we can get them vassal. A little bit of diplomacy. There we go, we are traveling again. A little bit of diplomatic mission while we are in the direction. But let's go to Taza. There we go, we have arrived. I can't wait to go home indeed. <laughs> we are quite a long way from home, almost uh, probably the furthest away one of our characters has been in this entire series. I would say. I think that's pretty safe to say. It's all recreation and what do we demand? Artifact. Whoa, Imperator of the Eastern Roman Empire wants an artifact. Theodosian Dynasty Banner, get out! How dare you demand that? How dare you indeed? Pregnancy. Whoa! I have become pregnant. Oh my goodness. Wow, that really is quite something, isn't it? Here we go. Every guest is gathered in the Great Hall. A gracious host, Tamus Nort. Hemu has welcomed us all to the feast. A lot of people here indeed. We'll still see. Now, is there anything more general than a good feast? And we've already had this event. This is where I want to be indeed. Although, this isn't too bad. So let's get a good bit of opinion growth from everyone else there. Now, a feast running down. Fam's have deep in conversation with my audacious acquaintance, Amdi. Who is a Morian Amazig? Inquires about my opinion on, on military strategies and it, forming a friendship. Uh, to be honest, I don't particularly care about that. I'm very much diplomatic and I'm the Imperatrix. How dare he come to my. And what is this? Oh, the food I've seen in one place. Fantastic. Life reaffirmed. And we lose stress as well. Love that. Banquet. Fantastic. Now. He has, this is a, so food and machine never looks ready to burst of frustration, oh dear, he's making a food, a fool of himself indeed, we have plenty of food already now, okay, decent speech, here, here, fine, I don't care what it is, we'll say here, here, whatever now, daylight pours in through the windows, in just one moment the whole hall becomes illuminated, most of the seats are now empty, some servants hand me my weapons and take their leave with a cheery bow, what a pleasure it was to have you with us. Smiles at me. What a feast. Before coming, my clothes were slick, were slack and ill-fitting. I stagger out. I was twice as full of food and moment as when I arrived. Well, I, I am pregnant, so uh, yeah, that probably probably uh, is part of it as well. Now, let's travel along the Mediterranean coast to Algier. Hyena struggle. Oh my goodness, our journey is violently interrupted by the sound of tearing. Flesh and gnawing jaws and the desperate cries of a man about to meet his end. The noise of so horrific it must come from the depths of hell. Tent and track the source found a desperate knight struggling with a wild hyena. And I'm not gonna have yeah, I'm not gonna do it. Let's get my captain to do it and try and have a go himself because I'm not gonna fight this. I'm not a very good fighter, and I'm pregnant as well. Come on, we're gonna protect our child. Do you conquer what do you want? Max learn languages and let's go defence and negotiations. Ooh, that extra diplomatic opinion hopefully could make us do a little bit better in terms of getting people to be vassalized and what is this called event we've just got it's nothing fine fine uh cool 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 we're on max and everything actually which is huge we're on maximum everything and my husband lucius is just doing his thing cool 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 whatever and if it's all two more time again some diplomacy a lifestyle experience can be discovered whatever 
Now let's go across the Balearics to uh, Palma. And our travels to come, journeying through Polentia, I pass by a peculiar looking tent splayed open with its yet more peculiar looking occupant inside. Come in, O oh mighty Imperatrix, I can tell you have many miles to go and I can offer you a reading of your future travels for a modest price. The strange man has piqued the interest of my entourage, but am I willing to pay for a reading? I've got, honestly, I've got gold. I've got absolute everything, and my travel bow is well fantastic. Well, that was a very quick little stop off there, but that was fine. We don't mind that at all. Fine, let Lyricum do what it wants to do. My son, I've got a son, Lucius. Let's give him a good Chalcedon. So don't know. Let's give him a good after ancestor. Honorius after my father. Absolutely. Now we're going to land in Monaco. There we go. Back on dry land again. Fantastic. Oh, I can build in Pavia. Fantastic. Royal Villa. There we go. There we go. Fantastic. We can actually build a little bit. Love that. But we are back home. I can go inside again. Journey for 481 days and traverse 40 baronies. Oh, that is fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. We are now quite an experienced traveler. I haven't got any XP anywhere, so at least I can't see, which is a little bit of a shame. But it is what it is. Maybe because it wasn't our feast and whatever, we don't get the experience or something. I don't know. But I'm going to end this episode here. It's been a bit of a different one, a bit of a quieter one, but it's been quite an interesting one as well. I do enjoy things like this, and it, of course, is how some of the episodes will go in an extended series like this. But I hope you've enjoyed it as well, and there will be plenty more of this series coming up. Don't you worry about that, but I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.